With 2020 behind us, we're all looking towards the future. So that's why we asked psychic Nikki what she's seeing for us in 2021 and beyond. And she gave us her predictions on everything from the pandemic, the economy, sports and all the best celebrity gossip. I know people want to hear about the pandemic, but you know what? I think by spring, summer and especially fall of 2021, it should start to dissipate. And then we're going to try to go back to normality. This is a year of transition. OK, this year is a transitionary year, but by 2022, everything will be back to normal. The biggest surprise will be maybe the in the United States. Like, I don't see Biden there forever either. I think he is going to be there for a little while. And then I think he may have some health issues and then a woman will precede him, which probably is Kamala Harris. Everything will go back to normal in, in 2021, or sorry, 2022, 2023. People will be so happy about not being cooped up at home. So the hospitality industry will actually be better then. It will, it'll go back to normal. I mean, people are still gonna order food from home and, and work from home for a while. I know in the financial district, it, it looks like a ghost town right now. But I feel that, you know, they're still going to be working from home, but I just see it more prosperous and I see people moving around again. I do. A lot of things happening in Canada um, politically. There's a lot of people stepping down. I'm really getting that. Some people are going to resign, too. I feel that some politicians will resign. I think 2022-2023 for the Raptors again. I think they're going to win. I, I really feel that. I see that. Absolutely. And the Maple Leafs and, you know, the Blue Jays might even do well. So not only is this a transitionary year for people, it's also a transitionary year for the, all the sports teams. Tom Cruise, I'm worried about his health and I'm worried about him. It won't be a great year for him or for Miley Cyrus. I'm getting that. Uh, I think Chadwick Boseman is going to actually win a lot of awards. I think Viola Davis is a, she, I mean, I see her possibly getting an Oscar. Nomadland could win the best film. And I think Sir Anthony Hopkins is also a strong contender for an Oscar as well. And I think Sophie Loren might win a lot of foreign awards. And I see Taylor Swift getting married. <laughs> for the Royals, you know, I see Megan doing a, a tell-all book or a tell-all interview. I see them possibly having another child.